Hello everyone, Mrs MLG here. Uh, we do have a couple of shots on how we use these technical paints or crackle paints but as they are shorts they do go quite quickly and we get quite a lot of questions which is absolutely fine we don't mind answering questions but I just thought I might make a slightly longer one so uh, it maybe makes a bit more sense now I normally use modern earth which is a citadel color and it's a black crackle on top and it gives you this kind of effect so this is the modern earth on top of green uh, and on top of orange now I usually use modern earth because black is my happy color but we have done a short with Badlands as well and that's a nice browny color same kind of uh, thing that you do it's just it's a different color but today I'm going to use Martian earth because I've never used this one before now this is a green stuff world one a crackle paint Martian earth and by the looks of it gives you kind of a red color so I thought let's stick some green underneath see what happens there <laughs> Now the idea with crackle paint is you get the cracks on top, it doesn't matter what colour you put underneath, whatever colour you put underneath is going to show through. So I'm going to see, I think this is Tesseract Glow this one, uh, going to see what this Martian Earth looks like. Now the first thing to do is get a base that you want to do it on and I'm going to use this Leaf Bud Green from Reaper which of course we sell at mightylancergames.co.uk and in the Brillington store. Uh, we sell all the Reaper paints that, that are available um, and we sell, oh, we sell so many ranges of paints, it's just ridiculous. So, get my base, I'm just going to put it on. I know the paintbrush is rubbish, I know the paint application isn't the best, this is just to show you the basics. You can use a nicer paintbrush. You can use a better painting on technique. You can um, prime the base first. That is no problem at all. And then we have to let this dry and maybe give it another coat. Uh, and then we'll carry on from there. So here we are, it's dry. Now I'd like to address a couple of things before uh, we carry on. Of course this is not Golden Demon award winning uh, type stuff. This is noob, fun, easy to do base for your miniature. It doesn't matter about the little blemishes and things like that. We're going to add crackle paint over the top and that is going to crack and just show the colours through. Okay, another point you can use whatever colour you want. If you want to add some other colours in here too, to give some extra splodges. So this one has Tesseract Glow, but then you can also see some darker green here, along with the brighter green there. So it's got some darker green underneath, some Tesseract Glow over here, lots of splodges all over the place. The same with, uh, with the Dragon, which has some orange and some red, there's a little bit of yellow. So whatever colour you want, on your base that's the colour you should put on your base if you want to put a primer on your base first put a primer on your base first okay so there we go now it's dry now what I'm going to add is something that you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to add this at all I am going to add some washable PVA glue uh, this is just the kids glue I think it's sometimes called Elmer's glue in other parts of the world but here in the UK it is PVA I am going to brush it on with one of my old paint brushes uh, this one is a home roll brush in fact and even though I'm going to clean it after I have put the PVA on obviously I'm not going to use one of my nice pretty actual mini painting brushes this is train brush that we use for this kind of thing splodge on some pva now why am i adding pva i hear you shout down the uh, down the screen there so you don't have to do this this is just a step that i like i find that adding a layer of pva over the top of my dry base coat helps it to crack better you do not have to do this but I find that it helps it crack better. So the first base layer is dry. We're going to wait for the PVA to dry before putting the crack on. So I'll come back in like a few seconds for you, but when my PVA is dry for me. 
Here we go, then that's uh, practically dry. So I'm going to be using the Green Stuff World Crackle Paint One Step Martian Earth. Now then, here we go again with me being an extremely lazy modeler. Now it does say on the back of this paint, it may take two to four hours to dry, depending on the thickness of application, resulting differently sized cracks do not use a dryer to speed up the cracking process. Just let it dry naturally. Can you guess what I'm going to use? So for the point of this video, I'm going to use a hairdryer to dry it. So it does say on the back of the packet, don't use a dryer. It takes two to four hours to crack. I'm going to use a hairdryer so that I can show you the results. So you have been warned. <laughs> <laughs> gonna give it a good shake i've never used this one before have used the uh, have used the badlands and obviously my favorite is modern earth modern earth doesn't come with a warning about drying uh, but it doesn't really say anything on the packet at all for modern earth so I'm not gonna hold that against it here we go Ooh, gloopy no, so I've not used this one before, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's what it looks like in my little palette. Ball of dry paint there as well, just for a laugh. Look at that, that's good, isn't it? So there we go. I'm going to use this lovely, lovely uh, humbrel brush. Again, out of the pot of not used for painting anymore brushes. And I'm just going to splodge it all over. I'm going to try my very best which as we've probably seen from the rest of this video doesn't really mean a lot to get it quite thick that is my aim getting it quite thick now really what I should have done I suppose is made one where I've waited for it to dry and one where I've used a hairdryer but I haven't have I I'm just going to do this one but again it does say on the back of the box don't use a dryer I am going to use a dryer you have been warned. <laughs> I like to think of myself as a typical impatient, want to get the job done painter who is not very good. Uh, I'm not like a great standard. It's fine for tabletop and this is just fun. In fact, it's actually drying already. I can, I can see with my brush when I just blob a bit more on that it's actually drying already. I might not need a hairdryer. Ooh, what do we think? Shall we, shall we just leave it? If I'm perfectly honest, this one was used, this one used a hairdryer and uh, this one used a hairdryer. Ooh, I don't know now. I might not. Ooh, might just leave it there. You might have to watch this video for four hours now. I'm not going to make you do that. I'm going to speed it up, but... Oh, I don't know. Shall I use a hairdryer or not? No, I'm not going to. Oh, look at that decision made. Not going to use a hairdryer, which I normally would do. It's even here, ready to use. But I am going to speed it up for you. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use a hairdryer. I know, I know, I've only left it a couple of minutes, but I'm bored already. So I'm going to use a hairdryer. Remember, it just said the back of the pack not to. And uh, here we go. And I'm still gonna speed it up for you. Okay, because I'm not gonna be that mean. <laughs> So here we go, that took two minutes with the hairdryer on a, on a cool, my, my hairdryer has a cool setting. Uh, you are supposed to leave it to naturally dry. If you leave it to naturally dry, you will get different results. You will get probably uh, different size cracks. It also depends on how much you put on. The thicker application, you tend to get bigger cracks. So it depends how you apply it. And obviously if you're not naughty and you leave it properly, but this is a hairdryer I left it for a couple of minutes naturally and then got bored <laughs> and used a cool, a cool setting on my hairdryer to, uh, to dry it. So that is Mordant Earth with 
Reaper Leafwood Green underneath. Um, you can, of course you can, um, put a spray varnish or very, very carefully a brushed on varnish. I can rub my finger over it, not quite dry to be fair, uh, without them just peeling off. But it depends what you want to do with it and what it is for. But if you're going to be handling it quite a lot, uh, a protective layer of varnish over the top it's probably a good idea we do like here in mighty lancer games green stuff world max matte it's extremely matte no no shine at all and uh, obviously awesome stuff we we use this one all the time this is mine uh, off my desk it's not got a lot left in it <laughs> but that's the one that we use it's just like a doesn't add any shine so that's cool. So you could add that if you wanted to. All of these things, of course, available at mindtalentsgames.co.uk and in our Bridlington store. This guy here uh, was painted by myself. I can't fit him under the camera. I'm off. Blue tap that down. Uh, this guy here, uh, with kids, with kids, guy. Uh, I did in the same method. So just not, just have to be bases. You can use it on minis absolutely same method apart from i used modern earth and i used obviously yellows and reds underneath and maybe a youtube video was doing this there was definitely something recorded i don't know if we did it live on twitch um but this is modern earth because normally like i said modern earth is my go-to because black is my happy color so again it doesn't just have to be bases this was used exactly the same method uh, and his base as you can see there is the same so Oh, we fell over. <laughs> Martian Earth, Leafwood Green, layer of PVA. Hope you like it. Hope that helped. Hope it was a little bit slower, a little bit uh, more information than the shorts. I will try and link the short into the description below in case you want to watch that too, because that's got the modern Earth. And also, I do believe there's one with Badlands. There might be two. It's definitely one with Badlands uh, and green underneath. You can use any colour you want. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe. We love it. It makes us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And head on over to www.mightylancergames.co.uk to check out the huge, ridiculously huge range of paints, minis, board games, all sorts of stuff that we sell. So much stuff. It's ridiculous. Take care, everybody. Thank you.